The reclusive author is one of the longest-running mythos in the literary world. Imagine, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, a brooding genius clacks away at their typewriter all day, spinning some of the greatest works of fiction known to man. Yet we are not privy to much information surrounding him or her. Some of the most celebrated authors in modern literature fit this bill, J.D. Salinger, Thomas Pynchon, Elena Ferranti. In the world of online fan fiction, there are only a few who can lay claim to this title other than Tara Gilesby, also known as XXXBLODYBLAKTARZ666XXX, the author of the most infamous fan fiction of all time, My Immortal. For those who aren't familiar with the work, My Immortal is a type of laden, sex-filled interpretation of the Harry Potter universe in which the protagonist, Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway, goes to Hogwarts and Good Charlotte concerts and is the object of sexual desire for every male character at the school. It features some of the best prose put to paper, including classic lines such as, Hi my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway and I have long ebony black hair. That's how I got my name. With purple streaks and red tips that reaches my mid-back and I see blue eyes like limpy tears and a lot of people tell me I look like Amy Lee. And, if you don't know who she is get the hell out of here. We started to kiss everywhere and my pale body became all warm. And then. What the hell are you doing you motherfuckers? It was. Dumbledore. They were having sexual intercourse in the Forbidden Forest. He yelled in a furious voice. Why did you do such a thing, you mediocre dunces? Asked Professor McGonagall. Since its first release in 2006, people have been wondering about the elusive author and the true intention behind her magnum opus. Could it possibly have been sincere? Or was it a brilliant satire of the fanfic genre? I'll be even a real person? Like many other literary legends who fit into the reclusive author narrative, all of these questions have long remained unanswered. Then something bizarre happened this month. Out of the blue, a young adult novel titled Handbook for Mortals, written by Lonnie Saram and published by G Nation, topped the New York Times young adult bestseller chart. For many literati who had never heard of the author or the publisher before, this news begged a lot of questions, and even scrutiny. Well, it seems the skeptics were onto something. It turns out that the spectacular rise of Handbook for Mortals had been the result of a scam in which the publisher bulk bought copies of the book. As part of a ploy to snag a film adaptation deal and the author would make her silver screen debut as the star of the movie. Now, if you're familiar with My Immortal. This sounds like some totally plausible shit Tara would pull. Considering how Ebony is a textbook case of the Mary Sue archetype, a notion that Tara would refine her skills and attempt to live out her dream. Of being the hero in a fantasy world of her own creation seems to follow a reasonable line of thought. Thus, a theory that Lonnie Saron was actually Tara Gilesby was born on Twitter. This charge prompted a response from Tara. Earlier this month, the internet heard from Tara for the first time in 11 years when she appeared on Fiction Press. Net on August 2nd to thank users for their continued love of My Immortal. But as the Handbook of Mortals controversy swirled, Tara updated her Fiction Press profile with a statement that read, 
because I've received several messages asking this, and predict I may receive more, I'll answer it here. No, I am not Lonnie Sarum. Really bad fiction simply tends to read the same. No, I'm not on Facebook. Or DeviantArt. Or MySpace. Or YouTube. Etc. I am on Tumblr. But I use my real name there, and it's not Tara. Now, is this truly Tara? There's no way to truly know, but the recent Terra updates would appear to confirm that my immortal really was written by a very enthusiastic, horny teenager who has grown up and developed a sense of humor about the whole thing. But with dueling stories as laden with insane plot twists as my immortal and the handbook for mortals fallout, it's difficult to believe the story is over. Maybe, just perhaps, the real author of My Immortal is... Dumbledore. One, 